I mean, the bar for something like this, the 25th Amendment, it is very high, extremely high, of course, as it should be. We're going to talk about that because I'll tell you, this may just be one big liberal pipe dream. Joining me right now, Attorney Misty Maris. She's here on set. Uh, it's good to see you, Misty. <clears throat> Explain the 25th Amendment and why um, it, it, the standard is indeed so high. The, the standard is high because it's not just to be used because you don't agree with somebody. It's not to be used because you don't agree with how they're communicating their message. It's to be used when the president of the United States has complete incapacity to fulfill the duties of the office. The reasoning behind the 25th Amendment mm -hmm. is key here. It was in contemplation of JFK, horrible situation. What if he had survived but had severe brain damage? Some sort of physical incapacity that would make him unable to fulfill his duties as president. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Not just, well, we don't really like what you're saying, so we want to we want to say you're not capable of running the it country. Will, not to mention that you know, a lot of people didn't like what he was saying, but a lot of people did like what he was saying, enough so that they sent him to the presidency in the first place. So I just question, are people actually willing to undermine the will of the American voter because of their own politics, shall we say? Absolutely. And I've been looking at all of the fodder that's going on and all of the underlying claims that are supposed to support the 25th Amendment argument. To me, it seems to be just personality characteristics. Yeah. The same personality characteristics that landed him in the White House by the vote of the American people. And that's not what the 25th Amendment is about. You're talking about a very high standard where someone is truly mentally incapable, physically incapable of doing the job. That's not what we have here. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that it, it came about because of JFK. In other words, if, if he had survived that that gunshot, if he had survived the assassination, uh, he may not have been able to function. Right now, we have someone who you may not like how he's functioning, but he's functioning. And he's functioning, by the way, much as we've always known him. Absolutely. Yes, that was the okay. lawmaker said when they were contemplating the 25th Amendment. What if this had happened, that JFK had survived, and we didn't have someone who was actually capable of running the country? That is, and America has no recourse. That's why it's necessary. Here you have somebody who maybe is different than other presidents have acted, who, whose ideas you don't like. That's not what this is about. Also, I think you can just point to the fact that whether you like it or not, we have tax reform that has been, has, has, is beyond what's come in the past decades. So how can you say that he's mentally incapable of executing the powers and duties of the office. It's just, it's not going to hold any uh, weight or water. It's wild, but you, you see uh, how crazy people have become. It's good to see you. Happy New Year. Great to see you. Thanks Happy New Year.